Greetings! My name is Joe Bob, and I'm Barry P. And welcome back to Deus Ex. Yeah, last time we dealt with a vi um, yet another. Why did I just get skill points? Whatever. Apparently, it was an accomplishment bonus. I don't know what I accomplished by walking 12 steps, but all right. Anyways, yeah, we dealt with yet another very janky hostage situation. This time, not in my favor. And now... Now we should probably get around to actually going and dealing with our... Mission, with our main mission, you know, taking down the EMP and all that. What I'm telling you, girl? Oh, you said I didn't have to. Make Janie do it. I already took the money. And when it's JoJo and it's something he wants, <coughs> you gotta do it. You and me both, baby. We helpless. We were just gonna hang out today. I told you how it don't play with me, this amateur, unprofessional bullshit. Johnny. If it's business, it's business. If it's us two hanging out, then we hang out. Right now, it's business. I want out, Johnny. I didn't know it would get like this. Put it this way. You in it. You want out, it's like a gang. You get beat out. Man, you have the most... You have the most fucking obnoxious tomorrow night, voice. okay? There ain't gonna be no tomorrow. If that ain't up tonight. Excuse me. Excuse me. What you want? Uh, excuse me, my fine good gentleman. You've got ten seconds to beat it before I add you to the list of NSF casualties. Easy, bro. Just having us a conversation. Five seconds. Girl's got a head full of marbles. I have to get. Or she don't hear me. Three. She skitches on me? It's my ass, man. One. All right. Go on. Jesus. Ah, yes. Deus Ex has so many eminently quotable conversations, doesn't it? I use that. Uh, I quote that one in particular all the time. <laughs> Yo. Oh, it's the guy's daughter. That's convenient. Thanks. Sucks to get backed into a corner. I was trying to find the back way into smugglers. Right. The weapons dealer. Hey, you shouldn't have threatened Johnny. Soon as Jojo finds out. Your father asked me to look for you. He'd like you to come home. My dad shouldn't have hired a hitman. Stupid way to get himself killed. I've been hearing about this punk Jojo. I'll straighten him out if you can tell me where to find him. You can't touch Jojo. He doesn't go out and there's only two ways to the warehouse. Warehouse? You think you can sneak Their into house. Osgood's at the park, but in the first place, it's locked. Looks like the fighting in the park has died down. And if you go underground, he's got laser trip wires, drone guns, military-type stuff, plus there are guards on the roof. Tell you what, I'll handle Jojo. You get home so your father won't have to worry. I can take care of myself. Evidently. <laughs> Not exactly the best time to be telling me that right after I just had to fucking save you. And some bozo. You know? Well, maybe you don't. All clear. Hmm? Okay, then. Oh, wait, hang on. Forgot. You know Smuggler? What can you tell me about him? Tough guy like you? Figured you'd be a big customer. His place is over by the subway. You have to give the password Bloodshot or he won't let you in. That's exactly what I wanted to know. I mean, I already did do that, but he said, uh, just fine. too sick, come later. Well, maybe it's later now. Maybe I... Hell of a long shift. No. I don't know how these triggers work. Weird. Yes. Password? Bloodshot. Apparently, that's how it works. Sure, why not? Ooh. Nice. I don't know why people keep leaving ammo just in random places like that. Our files show that the smuggler is whacked out paranoid. Watch for booby traps. And the latest news? Your brother's team hit some resistance. So they're gonna be delayed while we bring in chopper support. Alright. 
Uh, I mean, he did invite me in. Are there lasers gonna trigger for me? Yes. Okay. Well. Okay then. Kind of bad manners here to to allow me in, but then not actually shut down the fucking lasers. How rude. Oh well. Guess we'll just have to deal with this. The Deus Ex way. Which also happens to be the beef way as well. Is that high enough? Probably. <laughs> Easy peasy. Ooh, ballistic armor. The wheat, I guess. Well, no, not really. Not really. Do you use ballistic armor? But hey, it's nice to have if I need to run through a hail of gunfire or something. I always thought the weird, the way ballistic armor, the way the stuff worked in this game is kind of weird, where you use it and it and it lasts for a certain amount of seconds. Somehow, which is weird, really weird way for armor to work, and there's no way to disable it. Peculiar, to say the least. Yo, what do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Schick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look, but I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. I'll, uh, wait... Those prices don't quite match, but all right. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. Uh. Well, as they say, you know, it's, it's not paranoia if they are out to get you. Plus, I mean, have you seen what's been happening lately? With the fucking, I mean, the NSF and all that stuff. Even, even if there wasn't, even if there isn't some government group working with them, a couple of booby traps seems eminently sensible. Anyways, yeah, shit. Here we go. Come on. Damn it. I'd, I'd just use the uh, gas grenades or lambs, but this little barrier makes an issue there. Okay, here we are, up here. Now, is there a actually anything worth... Is there actually anything up here to, uh, to do? <laughs> Probably not. But I always gotta check, you know? Well, maybe you don't. Yeah, this is a waste of time. But wait, what about up here? Nah, too high. Huh. 
Nope. Oh. Ow. Damn it. Aha! Here we go. We're up. And there's nothing, nothing up here. But what I can do... Show you this. <laughs> Look at that. What even is... Like, what even is through here? Like, it's just an empty void. And also, but I can put grenades on it. Considering this place is underground, I'm not really certain what this is supposed to be. I... I don't get it. Yeah... <laughs> I don't think you, we were ever supposed to look anywhere near this close at this stuff. Because it really doesn't make sense. Can I get down safely? Yes. For a given value is safely. The heck was that? What? Okay, that was peculiar. Like I saw the wall or something for a second. Does that second one not have anything in it? Oh. You know what? I'll leave I'll leave those intact actually. Just in case I have need for getting up here again. It's not like there's anything useful in them. All right. Ooh, not quick. I hope you don't mind me robbing you. The Reluctant Dictators. <laughs> by, Tra uh, by Travis Crockett. Is there... Let's see. Organized at the end of the American Revolution on May May 13th, 1983, or 1783 rather, by jo uh, General George Washington, the Order of the Cincinnati was ostensibly formed as a fraternity to recognize the accomplishments of those officers who had served with distinguishment during the revolution. However, the true purpose of the order was the cultivation of a military force ready, willing, and able to accomplish a coup d'etat if the fledgling American democracy began to stumble. Interesting. Skeptical at the viability of the untried democratic system, Washington took counsel in the story of the Roman general Cincinnatus, who was called from retirement to serve as dictator for 16 days in the defense of Rome, after which he returned to his home to his farm. That's a bit misleading. He wasn't he wasn't called to serve for 16 days. He was called to serve for quite a bit longer than that, but he was able to accomplish what he was called there for in just 16 days and then willingly uh, and, uh, ended his term as dictator m much earlier than he had, he had any responsibility to. Or dude, or whatever. But, what, but that's a small quibble. In the wake of the revolution, the United States was vulnerable to any number of outside forces. And Washington, and Washington felt that a strong central government authority, and Washington felt that a strong central authority had to be present that could assume control of the government if necessary, and temporarily suspend the constitution if required. Washington resigned as president after only two terms in office, but remained president of the Order of the Cincinnati till his death. The order still exists to this day, a shadow organization of the wealthy and powerful that has been linked to any number of other organizations ranging from the Illuminati to the Trilateral Commission. Huh. Well, not- that's not exactly true. It was, a. Uh, uh, that's a bit- well, that's quite a- that's quite an entertaining and useful fiction to justify your own existence by tying yourself back to the founding fathers of the United States. Whether any of it is actually true, besides the fact that the order of the the the, the society of of the of Cincinnati, not order, uh, exists, and it was set up by George Washington, that remains to be seen. 
Anyways, here we go. Security key pad. Beta. Two tools. Fortunately, I'll bet this guy doesn't keep stuff very secure. Like, no, like everyone doesn't. Not that. One, two, three. Three, two, one. Two, three, four. Shit. Four, three, two. Hacker man. Let's see, clip upgrade, um... Not sure why the tranquilizer... Not, not, not sure why the mini crossbow can't get clip upgrades. Oh well. <laughs> Look at what a mess that is. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot I had this. I guess I'll give it to the pistol. Might as well. I don't like it's not, not like I can sell these or anything. And here we go. Thermo-optic camo. Here we go. Integrating woven fiber optics and an advanced computing system. Thermo-optic camo. Or is it thermoptic camo? Uh, whatever. Can render an agent invisible to both humans and bots by dynamically reflecting light and radar waves. However, the high power drain makes it impractical for more than short-term use. Yep. Fortunately, I only need it for short-term uh, short short use, because eventually, I'm I'm gonna get a couple of augments that can entirely replace it at the cost of a sizable energy drain. Where did he go? Whatever. Let's break into his computer while we're here. Uh, get him, I give him the password, come in. No. I, I give him the password, I come in, and I start fucking looting the place. Yeah, maybe he's right to be fucking paranoid. Maybe he's not paranoid enough, in fact. Okay, let's screen that. And then, let's screen that. Anything here? No? Okay. Oof. Okay. So the first one from Rosie Cross inquiry. The Oracle says, We did as asked and checked our sources. Pulled up black project lists from Dead Space Net Ghosts. Performed intrusion runs on Throne slash 6G systems. Everything. Called in all markers. Best we can say after eight variable cross check on all the available info is your friend did some under the table work in use. Very deep, very wet. He. Few specifics, but we were to divine that it involved chlorine assisted delivery of weaponized particles. God damn it! Chemtrails! We show 86.73% likelihood that this work is a contributing factor to its disappearance. We can tell you this much as well. It was not taken by any known national or international security organizations. We cannot determine responsible party, and this troubles us. We consider our debt repaid. No further communication between us will occur. The Oracle would like to know the last joke you heard. That's an odd thing to sign off with. The Oracle, huh? It's written in a kind of stilted manner. You see? Like there's missing words here and there that might just be typos, but it also kind of kind of flows like someone who's like speaking very in a very stilted way. Like, see, we show the likelihood that this work is contributing factor to his disappearance. That doesn't... That's a weird way of phrasing that. That's a peculiar way to find. I don't know if that's just the... I don't know if that's an intentional thing, or if they, it was just a mistake by the writers. What is this? The Oracle would like to know the last joke you heard. Huh. What a strange thing to say. Who is the Oracle? And who is Rosie Cross? And are they the same... And are they the same person? We find your limits acceptable. We, ex we will expect the items in question to promptly provide proving mechanisms at the location we have discussed. We have created an account containing the first half of the payment. Account number 312446. Authorization 1351. Do not try, to co do not try or contact us at the above address. It won't work. If you require to contact us, you can use the means we have already established. All right. Well, I'll take some cash. Sure. Assuming it hasn't already been emptied out. Hmm. All right then. 
Let's get, yet again delay our assault on the EMP thing and check out the sewers. Will this uh, still trigger? Yes. Oh. But it's no longer hostile. Ha. Huh. What does this do? I don't know. Whatever. Let's go. Ah, what's through here? Shit. Gonna need one of those crates. This guy is just incapable of doing it, even the, sh the smallest of pull ups. His vision might be augmented, but his, his pull up game sure isn't. Ah, right, we're here again. Well, I could bust it open with a GEP gun, or lo pick the lock, but why bother? Just... I guess that's for if you don't get the password, which... But well, it's possible, since most of the people that you get the password from can wind up getting killed if you... Uh, that doesn't quite make sense, but all right. What does this do? Oh, okay, calls. Ah, shit. All right then. Let's hit the sewers. Here we go. Time to bust open a secret government facility. Oh yeah. Star Wars, baby. I thought that was a wall for a second. I mean, it is, but not quite as close as I thought it was. That would have been awkward if I had immediately hit a literal brick wall. Yeah. Tried to obscure the uh, lasers by putting the big light there. It kinda works. It probably would work if my vision wasn't augmented. You know, you could have just put them right next to each other, right on, right above each other, uh, up above and below each other. And then it would have been bloody impossible to get through. But instead, can I jump over this? I'm not quite certain. But I'm fairly certain I could do uh, this. Come on! Okay, I'm gonna need to- I'm gonna need to grab a crate, then. See what I mean? About people just leaving ammo in random places? Goddamn. Or look! This place is ridiculous. Did I ever use that? Yeah, I remember using that. I got like 36 bucks. You know, while I'm here... Here we go. 125. That's not much, but alright. There we go. Triggered by the crate. Yes, okay. You never actually know. There's no, like, consistency here. Some will be triggered by crates, and some will not. And there we go. Watch me swoosh right in. Fuck. Well, that's a problem. Or is it? Can I... Yeah, 
have the problem. Okay, I'm gonna... Wait, no. Hang on. Now I get to use these. Um, not much space, though. Almost every grenade I had, but I got up. Oh yeah! Star Wars, baby! NSF Trooper and... The heck are you? Ooh, loaded! That's what! Two multi-tools, two lockpicks, and a med kit, I think? God damn! From, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. 16 exits to Lieutenant Maxwell Hammer. <laughs> bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer came down upon her head. Bang, bang, Maxwell Silver Hammer made sure that she was dead. By the way, Maxwell was framed. Maxwell Edison was framed. I have every reason to believe that he didn't kill that woman or any of the other people. Yeah, Maxwell Edison was framed. I guarantee you. Anyways, objective, covert surveillance of warehouse. Warehouse? Their house. Their wolf. Their castle. <laughs> Details. This mission is authorized at a level of Drone slash G slash 6G. Drone, uh huh. You will not interface with local authorities, UNATCO, or other government agencies. You are to act with prejudice against any threat to mission objectives. Notes. The entry code is 2167. Alright. Anything there? No. Good thing I can actually pick these up, otherwise this sort of thing would almost never be would, would, would never be worth it. Especially if I could have just, could have just used a single EMP grenade instead. But well, that's the beauty of reusable technology. All right, two one six seven. Where? Oh, probably in here. I guess that's what the lock picks are for. I effectively got two mul uh, uh, like uh, two lock picks and three multi tools from that. I think I saved one because of oh, come on. Aren't on the New York City sewer maps. Weird. I have no information on what you might be getting into. It seems worth following up. Quite so. I mean, look at this shit. Okay. I mean, I feel like I can just. Yeah, they really didn't think these security measures through, did they? I mean, come on. That's not even, like, movie levels of security. Like, if, in a movie, these would all be moving. Which is still stupid, but come on. But come on. Um, what was it? 167? Yeah, here we go. Ackerman. Speaking of Hacker Man. Oh ho ho, hello. Oh, hello. 
So this is a tad awkward. I... Okay, I think these guys... Nope, damn it. No order to maneuver on ladders. I think these guys might need me to go up to advanced level low tech for me to be able to knock them out in one hit. Yep. Shit. Which is odd considering I'm pretty sure they have the same amount of health as the NSF troopers, but maybe they've got. Maybe, maybe they've got damage resistance or something, I don't know. Point is, I need higher level load. What? Guy in a coat, I'm checking it Excuse up. me? What the fuck is that about? It went in a completely different direction than last time. What is this random shit? Uh, did I? Hang on. <laughs> Whatever. Still got him. No, oh, that was annoying. Can I... Hang on. I'll bet. I'll bet. Come on. Here we go. <laughs> and he doesn't notice a fucking thing. No one will ever know! I... I think that way... Yeah, that way leads to the other entrance. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about that until later, I suppose. What does that lead to? But first, let's check out that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure a certain this place has a guy in there. Yeah, which is why I didn't just use a tranquilizer dart on the to distract the other guy. Ooh. Gotta be careful when when taking out guys on these chairs, because it's really easy to accidentally hit their head. Which has which deals much less damage for reason. Oh yeah, one of the side benefits of upgrading low tech, being able to take those out in one hit, finally. Honestly, sometimes in when I'm not doing a low tech playthrough, I just fucking shoot those with, with my pistol or whatever, just to speed things up. Let's see, from security to J. Stewart, MJ12 and chemical insertion. Our security grid is now online and active. We will perform a thorough system test every 12 hours when, to ensure... That's the wrong ensure. It should be spelled with an E. Integrity and expectation of the shipment from Hong Kong. If you would like to monitor our status, you can access the grid with the logon MJ12 and the password coup detect. Subtle. MJ12, huh? Wonder what that could stand for. Michael Jackson 12? The age at which Michael Jackson prefers. <laughs> uh, hi. Shit. I did swear. So. Okay. Ooh, 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 what's that? Is that is that rockets? No, it's a napalm cancer. Oh well. Flamethrower is actually pretty good in this game, although. It's just, it is unfortunately one of those standard video game flamethrowers, which not particularly accurate to actual proper military flamethrowers, you know, because 
thing about flamethrowers is that they're flame throwers, not flame blowers, like video, video game flamethrowers are. Nice. Oh, thanks for presenting your back to me. This area is an old water treatment facility. I wonder what all these paramilitary types are doing down here. But considering what the smugglers said, I would imagine this is where they're holding his friend, Ford Schick. Probably. Not sure about the para part of that paramilitary phrase. Unless, of course, you mean paras and Paralympics. Okay, can I get this without getting big? Yes, okay. Should not aware of the camera now. Hi. Will you hear me? Sergeant? Yes. Is that you? I'd like to distract him, but I'm fairly certain there's someone through there, so. I'll just have to go downstairs like a plebeian. As I said, non-lethal takedown is always the most silent way to eliminate resistance. A lethal one would have had him scream right there, and that would have definitely alerted him. But a non-lethal one, you can take him out right fucking next to... What just happened? How did you take damage? Oh, I think I know what happened. He was fucking standing in the door fray in the doorway when it closed and it hit him. Idiot. And then he didn't even move after. <laughs> Who put fucking buckshot shells underneath that? Underneath the stairs. What the heck is wrong with you? Brief? You were briefed about me, were you? Whoever's out Shit. There, give yourself up. Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Ugh. New frontier is a fucking me over. Damn it. Did anybody else hear something? Nope, I didn't. How about you? It's not. Alright. Let's see. The manual was Thursday? I already read that. Let's see. Jay Stewart. As requested, access codes have been changed. Your new access code is J Stewart JS 1357. If only it was 1337. Be sure to change the password after you log on. He did not, in fact, change the password after he logged on. Maybe he hasn't logged on yet. Jacob's Shadow by Andrew Hammond. Chapter 12. A lot of people say this city looks like hell, Allie said. She took a long drag from her cigarette. The glowing tip burned a hole in the darkness. <laughs> Most people have never been to hell, Jacob said. She looked at him, and he could hear the smile in her voice. And I suppose you have? Jacob said nothing, then stood and walked to the bed. Ellie let out a small noise and shrank back against the pillows, as if she'd claw her way into them, if she could. She, he leaned down close to her ear. You like to play games, he whispered. And that's fine, but you don't want to be playing games with me, because I'm the one honest man in this city. You should know that, since we were married. <laughs> ah yes, classic schlock. Yep. Can't say I'm surprised by that. Uh, our chemist. 
Your concern about his behavior is unwarranted. However, once the initial trial is completed, you may eliminate him at your own discretion. Company Picnic The company picnic has been moved from July 21st to July 28th. Please note this on your calendars. Employees on duty or otherwise unavailable will receive a bonus as compensation instead. See you there! Harleen Quinzel Harleen Quinzel Subtle A frown is just a smile turned upside down. Ugh. Maybe I should be killing these MJ-12 bozos. It seems like it might be a mercy. System hacking We've had several attempts to hack into the main Daedalus system. Heh. <laughs> Daedalus, huh? I mean, it's not quite as inherently doomed a name as, say, Icarus would be, but it's not far off. Daedalus did, after all, lose his son. Let's see, mostly amateur tunneling stunts that don't require a prejudicial system. However, in keeping with standard protocols, all level 1 lock systems have been changed. Lock, lock system codes have been changed. The new code is 2167. Yeah, I know that one. This will work within the complex, but isn't valid for exterior access. Those systems are on a separate grid, and as is the armory. Pass this code on to those with proper clearance. Archie Rainman. Central Security. Never blame malice for what can adequately be blamed on stupidity. Well, maybe. The main shipment will be arriving shortly, so ensure that all chlorine delivery tests are completed. Your recommendation of the water treatment facilities for insertion have also been improved. Your studies of vector diffusion and initial casualty counts were persuasive. Vector initial ca casualty counts, you say, huh? Now what could they possibly be referring to? I mean, what has been sweeping through the land, causing all manner of casualties? Amongst the lower class, amongst mostly the lower classes, suspiciously sparing those wealthy elites that are supporting the government. That has a that has a treatment that is carefully controlled by the government. I wonder. Who can say? Anyways. This here is the armory, and the, the code to it is not found anywhere in this game, if I recall. However... I do happen to know it, has a little bit of trivia. Zero, zero, seven. <laughs> little bit of a sly reference there. Let's see, rockets? Grenade, grenade, scramble grenade. Interesting. Those ones will make uh, r robots attack each other. Not hugely useful to me, but it could come in handy. Might as well grab it. Rockets. Oh, run out of space for this fraud ammunition. Maybe I should actually be using that more. And here we go. I am the law. The light anti-tank weapon. Another one of those things where you can tell that they just wanted to spell out law. Ah, this must be Fortune. Excuse me while I read some books. Nanotechnology for stupid people. <laughs> Alrighty then. Boring and water treatment. Yeah, I got old thing about the uh refuting the can the cancer risk. Yeah. Hmm. Nanotechnology for stupid people, TM. Feel like a moron because folks sling around words like universal constructor, gray goo, m mechanocarbons, and bucky tubes? Well, no longer. Nanotechnology for stupid people, TM, will guide you through the small, small world of tiny machines. 
Why is this important? Why should you care? Imagine a million microscopic robots, no bigger than a red blood cell, constantly scouring your arteries for plague... <laughs> for plaque and cholesterol. Imagine a supercomputer the size of your thumbnail that can record everything you see and hear. Imagine buildings that assemble themselves overnight. Well, imagine no longer. The future is here, or will be soon, and it's made of little atoms. That's right, atoms, the building blocks of all matter in the universe. Kind of. Nanotechnology simply pushes the little building blocks around to make new, interesting, exciting things. Even now, scientists worldwide are making huge strides in perfecting the universal constructor that will make, that will make nanotechno a nanotechnological future possible. But already the benefits are being reaped from their research. Can confirm. You'll learn the history, the inside scoop, the buzzwords, and what the future holds. All inside nanotechnology for stupid people, TM. Stupid people, when you don't have two neurons to rub together, TM. Check out our other books, including the best-selling Pandemics for Stupid People and Cooking Dogs for Stupid People. Alrighty then. Chlorine and Water Treatment. Report for the New York City Council, 2053. On the other hand, opponents claim chlorine com compounds can cause cancer, infertility, or birth defects. However, recent research indicates that the increased risk of cancer from chlorinated water is minimal or non-existent. For example, a 2034 tox toxicological study found no carcinogenic effects at chlorine concentrations a thousand times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency revised Kyoto standards. And the International Agency for Research on Cancer concluded population studies on cancer rates were too flawed to draw any conclusions. Water chlorination is just one target for some activists. They advocate eliminating some or all of the 1500 chlorine compounds now in use. This would include most plastics, almost 85% of pharmaceuticals, and 96% of crop protection chemicals. Yet most of the chlorine in the world occurs naturally. The annual global emission of some 1500 naturally occurring chlorinated organic chemicals totals 5 million tons, compared to the human emissions of chlorine compounds of only 26,000 tons. Good to know, I guess. I don't know if any of that is true. You must be Ford Chick. Who are you? Smuggler sent me. Who's holding you here? I don't recognize the uniforms of the soldiers. I don't know. They're private security for a biotech company or something. They had me doing antibody work. Corporate security isn't usually outfitted to fight a ground war. You'd be surprised. They're doing experiments on people. They don't want anybody finding out. All right. Make a break for it, I suppose. I'll protect you from all of those security that are definitely still conscious. Make a break for it. I'll protect you. Here I go. <laughs> this hand of mine is burning red. It's loud roar. It is me to grasp victory. Wouldn't want to be ya. Alright, and... Well, I could go back through there, but I think it'd be quicker to just go through there. I got your friend out. Ford, is he alright? Fine. You were right about those troops. Definitely not NSF. They're the CIA. They capture people and use them for medical experiments. I wouldn't go that far. You said you'd make it worth my while. Since you helped Ford, I'll cut you a deal. I'll give you a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 700 credits, a bioelectric cell for 250, or some light amplification goggles for 1125. That's certainly quite a discount. But I don't really need any of those. I already have the light amplification goggles. This, I already have a scope and also not much use for it, and bioelectric cells? Hmm. Maybe. Let me just... Not interested. Well, you know where to find me. Thanks again for finding Ford. No problem. No, the main benefit to that, to doing all that, was the skill points and also the stuff I found along the way. Let's see, nine. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fine. 
How much? Hmm. At least say they restore five energy units. This is based off of percentage. So, hang on. Let me. Okay, so it is 25 percentage points then. Okay. Good to know. Damn. Sure, might See as well make anything? it an even 10. Here's 250 for the bioelectric cell. Deal. Not like I have that much use for money in general in this game, honestly. Okay. Well, uh... Alright, this video is getting... Is getting rather long already. So, I'll cut it here. Next time... Next time, I swear, we're going to actually at least begin doing the thing that we came he here expressly to do. Take down that old EMP thing. Whew. But until then, I have been Joe Bob, and I'm very peeved. And remember, dislike the video, unsubscribe if you're for some reason subscribed, and leave a nasty comment in the comment section down below. Fuck you all so much for watching, and so long, suckers.